Okay, this is a video on how I make the shield for the hexapod. As you can see, I have the little terminals in there with the uh, plastic side um, facing away from all the print on the board. Um, and these go around the outside, two rows on the end. Once they're all soldered in place, I glue the uh, remote wireless on there. You can see the glue coming up through the holes. And it's uh, pretty self-explanatory there. Um, you can see that the uh, metal clip, there it is uh, with another board to hold the pin straight. Then I've put a row in there. Now that row skips a hole so that uh, you get the right pin numbers because I need the next two rows, one for hot and one for ground. As you can see here, I have all three rows in. Um, you can see the solder. You can kind of see that that first row in, the white squares, is empty. And then the next row is uh, full of pins. There's a better example of it. Now you can see my three rows. The one farthest to the left of the dark is for power or uh, signal and then power and then ground. Here you can see the three I've made on the uh, two extra pins of five and six, I believe, where I've got three more so that I can have uh, 13 servos. Here you can see I've bent the pins over. the uh, That would be the ground pin. And I've done it on the side too. You can get a little better picture on the next one, I think. Uh, there you can see. And I've bent them all over so that I can make a ground bus. I next take a piece of uh, Romax, just regular wire from house wiring, piece of copper. And I've taken and I've bent it and I've soldered it to all of the grounds. Um, I put the little piece of paper under there just as a spacer. I pull that out, as you can see here. And I end up with a nice ground bus. I then solder a wire to it, which I uh, direct out the back there through a gap, um, which can actually uh, stay there when it's plugged into the Arduino. It'll all fit. Um, here's another view from the other side. And uh, that kind of explains the ground bus. And then I repeat the process for the positive bus. I do not fold these pins over. I leave them straight up. But I once again use a piece of copper Romax. Make sure, of course, it doesn't touch the ground, as you can see here solder another piece of wire to it. I go out the little gap between the uh, analog pins on that become analog pins when it's plugged into the Arduino. Here you can see the uh, pretty much finished unit. Um, it plugs into the Arduino. Everything works sweet at this point. All you need to do is plug in the uh, six wires that jumper the wireless remote from the PS3 controller to the uh, proper pins on the board and plug in your um, servos to the proper plugs here and you have a working shield for your hexapod ant. Thank you.